Hi, I will present a solution for problem A. In problem A, we are given uh, two sets of n tiles. Each tile is, is defined by two values, its price P, P and its height H. So we need to make it in two rows, first set in the first row and second set in the second row. And we have two restrictions. First of all, we need that prices should increase, should not decrease in each line both in first line and second line. Also, height of the tile in the second line should be, should be lower than the height in the first line, uh, or, the, the, or the tile in the second line would not be visible. So we have these two restrictions and we need to output any ordering which satisfy both, or declare that it's impossible. So we think this is the second easiest problem in the contest, and this can be solved like that. Let's consider several first, se first several tiles are fixed in both rows. So we have two cases now. Let's, the only thing we can change is swap two tiles which have the same price. So we know next several tiles in the first row and next several tiles in the second row, but don't know their order. We, can, we, ha we have two cases. The tile, there are less tiles with the minimal price in the first row, in the second row, or in the first row. Let's consider the first case, the latter one is, can be solved in the same way. In, the se in this case, the order of tiles in the second row doesn't matter, because they all will be matched with the same tile, with, with some tiles in the first row, with the minimal price, and, not, and order doesn't matter. We can, we can reorder tiles in the first row and nothing will change. So we can fix any order for tiles in the second row, in that case. How to solve the problem? We have two cases. Let's us fix, well, let's some of the tiles, some prefix of the tiles we already fixed. It. We know next tiles in each row. These are the tiles with the minimal price. But we can swap them between, between them and so their order is not fixed. We have two cases. First case is where there are less, less tiles with minimal price in the second row or in the first row. Let's consider the first case. It's the, the other one can be solved in the same way. Let's fix the order of tiles in the second row doesn't, ma doesn't matter in this case. So we can make it increasing by height because just it's more convenient. Let's then fix, the, let's then choose them one by one. For if we don't need to fix anything other, there is a well-known greedy for that. We should get the lowest height in the first row, get and get the smallest thing we can pass, we can, we can stay be, behind them in the, second, in the second row. So we fix one and get, get the tile with a minimal height, which can be set here. This makes us all possibilities we have we can do in the if we do something else and some more so this solution is best we can do this one by one and if we just use this greedy to fix each one beyond all these tiles we can increase our fixed prefix and start the next stage where we get next minimal when we get next mini minimal prices and then solve the problem for them Doing this one by one will solve the problem in quadratic time. So this is not enough to get accepted because there are big constraints. So we need some data structure to make this faster. And this data structure should, make, should, should support two queries, adding a new tile and getting the minimal tile, which is at least this. These data structures are well known and can be something like STD set or tree set in Java or some balance tree or something else, what you like. The second case is, is can be solved in a similar way. We just reverse everything set and get a decreasing order of heights in the second row and then giving a minimal one in the first row one by one. And this can be do using the same data structures. So the, the main idea of solution, we give prefix which is smaller, fix it, fix other one, and go into the next step. This all can be done in n log n time, which is fast enough for this problem. So that's all.